Merry Christmas and happy holidays to you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you a simple photo booth setup that you can take anywhere. You could do it during the day, you could do it during the evening, and it's super simple. Make sure to click the link in the description. I've got an awesome PDF guide with all the galleries that I've done with this setup. It's a super easy setup for you guys, and I've also got some of the metadata with the EXIF of the ISO, the shutter, the f-stop, and if I'm using flash or not flash. So check this out, download it when you get a chance, and I hope what I'm about to show you is going to help you with your Christmas photo booth setup. So here I have a red sequence backdrop, it's 10 feet wide, a backdrop stand, two sandbags, 10 pounds each, a table full of accessories for people to wear, and a red drape just to make it look nice. Got my 36 inch Westcott softbox, speed light, transmitter, A6000, ready to go. For all these photos, I'm using the Tamron 17 to 28 f 2.8. And because of the A6000 crop factor of one and a half X approximately, um, it was going to be a little bit longer of a focal length than if it was on a full frame camera, but it did still perform really well and I didn't have to move forward or backward too much. I was able to get most people in the frame. As you can see, it was about 10 feet wide of a curtain, as I said, and it did an amazing job. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and click that link in the description down below. It's a free PDF guide for your Christmas photo booth setup. Now, if you really want your Christmas photos to stand out, just go ahead and add a ton of presents to the photos, add a Christmas tree, that red sequence backdrop is awesome, and Santa Claus, he's always gonna sell it. Oh, and one last thing, the ground was asphalt, so I went ahead and took some red striped Christmas paper, just laid it all over the floor, that just brought the whole thing together. There were so many kids running around during this photo shoot, so I couldn't use a softbox on a stand. Can you guys tell the difference between these photos and the quality of the photos from the first photo shoot? Sometimes we do our Christmas photos at night with the same 10 foot red sequence backdrop, same sandbags, same backdrop stand, same 36 inch softbox, same trigger, same A6000 camera with 17 to 28 Tamron F2.8 lens. I did all of this in the evening and you can see the difference of the quality of the photos. What do you guys think? Do you see any more contrast or do you see less contrast than during the daylight? How do you think shadows come into play in the evening versus the day? I would love to hear your comments down below. Again, thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas to you. Stay tuned for more videos. Have an awesome weekend. Take care.